Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about Mental Health Care Management System of Karnataka. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at Nimans, Bangalore. Today we are discussing the Mental Health Care Management System, EMANAS. This has been implemented and also published in Asian Journal of Psychiatry in 2021. Let's discuss about this Mental Health Care Management System of Karnataka. The main objective of this Mental Health Care Management System was the digital innovation in implementation of Mental Health Care Act of 2017, keeping the National Digital Health Mission Framework. With this framework, this digital innovation was planned. What is the digital innovation here? The Mental Health Care Act 2017 has made certain things mandated and that also almost equivalent to National Digital Health Mission, that is Health Establishment Registry, Health Service Provider Registry, Unique Health ID for each person with mental illness, Digital Health Record, Implementation of National Mental Health Program, and also all these need to be monitored by the State Mental Health Authority, Central Mental Health Authority, and at every district, there should be a Mental Health Review Board, a quasi-judicial body to monitor the whole implementation of Mental Health Care Act, linking with insurance providers and others. With these eight important modules, and also the implementation of Mental Health Care Act, keeping the National Digital Health Mission framework, this was planned. And this was called as Mental Health Care Management System. It is also called as E-Manus. And a project approval came in 2018. And it was called as E-Manus also. I was the principal investigator of this program. Along with me, co-investigator Professor Navin Kumar, Dr. Manjunath, Dr. Girish played a crucial role. Along with this, from IIITB, that International Institute of Information Technology, Professor Shrikant and Divya Raj played a crucial role. However, the backbone of the whole project was Karnataka state government. And it is a brainchild of Sri Ajay Said, sir. He played a crucial role in inception, discussion, designing, security of the future. He gave most of his time in discussion when he was the health secretary. Later, it was augmented and supported by the health secretary Shri Javid Akhtarji. Further, MDNHM Shri Ratan Kelkar sir played a crucial role and Rajini Parth Sarthi, the deputy director, played a crucial role. All of them made a success in planning this Karnataka State Mental Health Care Management System. This is the landing page of Karnataka Mental Health Management System, that is E-Manus. Let's discuss about this. The primary objective of this E-Manus was to innovate a digital system which will govern the implementation of Mental Health Care Act of 2017 in Karnataka first. As you know, Mental Health Care Act of 2017 was passed in the Parliament on 7th of April 2017. Later, it was enforced across the country on 29th May 2018. Let's understand about Mental Health Care Services. It falls under the concurrent list, not like health which is a state subject. Mental health care services comes under the concurrent list under the seventh schedule that is list three under the constitution of India. It is called as lunacy and mental deficiency, including places of the reception or the treatment of lunatics and mental deficiency. That means it is the responsibility of both state government and central government. However, Karnataka state government took the first step in planning this digital innovation. Mental Health Care Act of 2017 makes certain important mandatory obligations to be fulfilled. Those obligations are national registry of the mental health establishment, registry of all mental health professionals, registration of all advanced directives, medical records, so that the persons with mental illness rights are upheld. Let's discuss about the mandatory obligations which need to be fulfilled by the government. Since mental health falls under the concurrent list, the government means both central government and state government. As per the Mental Health Care Act of 2017, Section 43A and 66 mandates all mental health establishments need to be registered to provide services. That means every mental health establishment need to be registered irrespective whether it is a public, private or NGOs. Further, mental health service providers like mental health nurse, psychiatric social worker, clinical psychologist, 
they need to register under the legislation so to provide services so now we have service provider and also clinical establishments providing services further persons with mental illness can now write an advance directive that is a living will the living will how he should be treated if he develops mental illness how he should not be treated if he develops mental illness is advance directive which is going to write nominate certain people as a representative if he develops mental illness they will be taking decision and this advance directive that is a living will need to be registered under mental health review board mental health review board is nothing but a quasi judicial body established under mental health care act of 2017 further minimum standards for central mental authority state mental authority for each state need to be drafted and should be made available online for persons with mental illness and also for mental health establishment not only this the act also mandates under section 30 the provisions of this act should be made available online so that the service users know what is their rights keeping with the national digital health mission further the mental health care act of 2017 under the same manners took a positive step such as making available all basic medical records to persons with mental illness under section 25 and also formation of mental health review board as a quasi judicial body under the legislation of mental health care act is there they are going to take their grievances they are going to take complaints if there is the rights violation they will be taking and they will monitor the implementation of mental health care act of 2017 across the districts mental health review board should be formed at least one per district however the rule says at least three district one mental health review board should be there further the government should ensure the availability of services that is section 18 right to access for mental health care for that this platform is going to provide national mental health program implementation and monitoring at the same time section 18 also mandates the government to make availability of essential psychotropics free of cost from community health centers and upwards that is district hospital medical colleges and also at the mental hospitals at the same time section 21 mandates availability of ambulance services for persons with mental illness with this important obligation which need to be fulfilled under mental health care act of 2017 this digital innovation was planned that is called as emanas that is mental health care management system of karnataka state government let's understand the aims of this emanas implementation of mental health care act of 2017 registration storage retrieval of mental health establishment mental health professionals advance directives basic medical records minimum standards and various other information and this it solution should be empowered which should be on a secure platform under the monitoring of state government and also this digital platform will make accountability and transparency from all stakeholders and this need to be implemented across the state this is the mandate of mental health care act of 2017 which will be realized using digital innovation what is the importance of this platform this platform is integrated comprehensive mental health portal it is service provider friendly at the same time service users friendly medical records are kept in a secured platform it is an integrated platform and ease of monitoring and implementation of mental health care act and national mental health program so it is a massive integrated components of mental health portal let's discuss about the each functional block of this emanas the first block if i would like to put across is karnataka mental health data registry and repository this is the database where all the datas will be stored first and the foremost is mental health directory directory of mental health establishment directory of mental health professional service provider let's discuss both of them the first functional block all mental health professionals psychiatrist psychiatrist under ayush clinical psychologist psychiatric social work psychiatric nurses all of them will be registering under this platform they need to register as per the legislation all professionals will have a unique id unique password so that when they provide services the data need to be entered there at the same time the data entry delete and editing 
only will be given with statemental authority. That means statemental authority will be the final say. Further, registry of all mental health establishment, both government, private and various societies, trust need to register under mental health establishment. And they also get a unique ID so that the patient, if they are admitted in their establishment, need to be informed to Mental Health Review Board and State Mental Authority. The third important block is the patient portal. This is a very important portal. Here, service provider will know about his rights. He will be able to give complaints. He will be able to talk about if rights are violated and the complaint will be immediately sent to Mental Health Review Board online. And he will be registering his advanced directives and he is able to know which are the mental health establishment available in his districts nearby, who are the mental health professionals available, whether they are registered or not, and various mental health services availability. All these will be provided under the functional block 2. Coming to the functional block 3, that is mental health authority portal. Mental health authority plays a very crucial role. This is the statutory body under the Mental Health Care Act of 2017. They will, they will not only register mental health establishment, they will register mental health professionals. Availability of essential psychotropics will be monitored. Right to access for mental health care will be monitored. Implementation of national mental health program will be done under this, under this platform. Basic medical records and also grievances. These are all under the Mental Health Care Act of 2017. Coming to the fourth important block, Mental Health Review Board. These are the quasi-judicial body led by either the retired district judge or else working district judge along with other five members. This quasi-judicial body will register advance directive, will take complaints, will monitor the implementation of Mental Health Care Act of 2017 and also providing of services and upholding the rights of persons with mental illness. And this review board plays a crucial unit block for monitoring of implementation of Mental Health Care Act of 2017. Hence, Mental Health Review Board dashboard will be available. So those members of the Mental Health Review Board will monitor how many are admitted in their districts, how the services are provided, whether there is a right violation, whether there is any complaint. If the complaint is there, the proceeding of the complaint will be updated on a day-to-day -day basis on this platform. Once all these four blocks were completed, beta version of Mental Health Care Management System was released on 23rd to 25th August 2019 in Karnataka Annual Conference of Indian Psychiatric Society. It was released none other than by our Health Secretary Shri Javed Akhtar sir. Later, the Community Mental Health Services was planned. That block was implemented. Here, right to access for mental health care as a fifth module was introduced. Registry of Severe Mental Disorders, National Mental Health Program, District Mental Health Program Implementation, Training of ASHA workers, healthcare workers, integration with helpline, that is 104, integration with ambulance and 108, availability of essential psychotropics, home visit by district mental health program, care at doorsteps. A pilot project was done in Ramanagram, which is a very successful. And this as a community health services as a right to access for mental health care under the legislation as planned. Coming to the important block is public health establishment and private health establishments. These health establishment need to register under the Mental Health Care Act when they need to provide information. This is mandated as per the legislation. They need to now provide API to the mental health establishment, to the mental health state mental health authority so that the information can be pushed and stored under the state mental authority. Basic medical record should be entered. Involuntary admission, discharges need to be informed to the State Mental Authority and Mental Health Review Board. This platform will enable that. Even the private clinical establishment need to register and use this platform. Along with tertiary care centers like medical colleges, national institutes like National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Harvard Institute of Mental Health Neurosciences, they need to push the EHR. At the same time, inform the State Mental Authority about the admissions. Here, both private, government, societies, trust, any mental health establishment where a person with mental illness is admitted need to register under this platform and also provide information to the state authority. Once all these blocks were completed, on 26 June 2020, very auspicious day, 
Karnataka Mental Health Care Management System was released by our Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka, Shri B.S. Edurappa. On the same day, even the Central Minister, Shri Honorable D.V. Sadanand Gaudaji, Honorable Minister of Chemical and Fertilizer, made an important comment telling that this Karnataka State Mental Health Management System should be made available across the nation. Many people participated during the release of this Karnataka State Mental Health Management System. Now, what is the future plan? We have a Karnataka State Mental Health Management System. How we can take it to the national level? We know this is the Karnataka State Mental Health Management System. These are the various blocks. How it can be translated at the national level? How under the federal structure, how do we implement this? Implementation of Mental Health Care Act, at the same time, how the digital innovation has to be planned so that it is secured and rights of persons with mental illness is upheld. Now, to form a national e-manas, we need to start from the Karnataka State Mental Health Management System. That is, we have state mental authority. Now, we should form a central mental authority software. That is, national e-manas. Once we are able to connect the central mental authority and state mental authority, having a two different block, as under the federal structure, the data, only required data will be pushed to central mental authority. Remaining data will be under the state and the owner will be the state. Once the state and the central is able to talk, we can bring all other state mental authorities under the ambit. And various states will now be providing important information with regard to national mental health program along with the important information which is required as per the Mental Health Care Act should be provided to Central Mental Authority. Now, the owner will be the state. But however, as per the legislation, some of the information need to be given to the central government. This has to be planned as per the national e -manus. To conclude, my dear friends, Mental Health Care Act of 2017 is a landmark legislation which not only talks about right to access for mental health care, and it should be made available to the persons with mental illness at their doorsteps. That is called as right to access for mental health care. And it also mandated both the central government and state government obligation has been played to provide services. To provide these services, digital innovation is very essential. Not only that, Mental Health Care Act itself makes mandate to the central government and state government to make availability of national registry of mental health establishment the registry of service providers and also registry of advanced directives, basic medical record, advanced directives, linking with ambulances. All these which has been planned under the Mental Health Care Act can be formed easily under the framework of National Digital Health Mission. So my dear friend, there is no health without mental health. And under National Digital Health Mission, Karnataka State Mental Health Management System is the first which has been started now which can be taken at the national level under the national digital health mission and it can be implemented so that mental health services is available to each and every citizen of india thank you very much for giving your valuable time stay safe